Hi, this tutorial is going to be about installing Arch Linux on Linux Mint 18.1 in VirtualBox. You have to take a look at the previous tutorial, which is about installing the Arch Linux basis. And we have a basis, meaning there's no Xorg, no desktop, nothing. And this is where I start to install Budgie, i3, XFCE, uh, cinnamon and so on so this is something I have to keep off my hands off so I'm gonna clone it and this time I'm going to install budgie and I'm going to try and see if my scripts are working fine which are on Eric Dubois uh, github of Eric Dubois arch budgie I'm using the scripts and I'm using the knowledge I've been accumulating over the years and I put them all in do scripts. Why? Because it's just fun. That's why. I start ArchBudgie. And as you will see, we'll just end up in our terminal. We have a root and we have an account, Eric, with a password. And we're off. What we need to do, what I will do, is install our system to get the information and that's git it's already installed but i wanted to show you anyway and then sudo that's not sudo but git clone it everything from where i know it by heart and it's github.com slash eric slash and an arch and then some kind of desktop so virgin all the scripts are here, as you can see, and I'm moving inside the installation folder. And here we are. LS Minail shows a bit more. LS minus AUX shows something else. But at some point you maybe need to, to write a piping behind it, like so, less, and then you can press with the spacebar and then the Q to quit. We see what we need to do. We have to start with numbers. So 20, 30, 40, 50, and yes, so on, till 700. That's what we have to run. So minus uh, dot slash 20, I'm gonna skip it. I suppose I have the fastest arch mirror, so I'm not gonna waste time with that. Takes a bit of a uh, few minutes. And let's go ahead and install already, whoa, install already the number 30. Install arc. There are two issues. When I'm installing on my SSD, no problem, I use the first one. But when I'm installing on VirtualBox, I have to do something else. And this afternoon I figured it out. This is what I need to do. And he's installing um, a specific uh, program to be able to see everything in the VirtualBox. While we're waiting, maybe you'd like to know The thing we're installing is VirtualBox uh, dash, that's in English, yeah, guest dash utils. And you see I have a text over there. And we have to choose something. We have to choose between two things, and it is 50-50, uh, yeah. But we need to choose number two to make this work. And we confirm that that's what we want. There we go. So that was uh, number 30. Let's move on to number 40. 40 is 0, 04, like so. Wget was not yet installed, it installed, and I'm getting it now. Packer is installed. Packer is what is it? It's an helper, an AUR helper, Arch user repository helper. And next up is number, let's take a look, number 15. Again, the mistake. And we're going off for the budgie core. First GNOME, and then budgie will be installed, and then it's finished. We're out of our terminal, we'll be going into a graphical environment, which 
most of us really appreciate. Opening the script on the other screen. So GNOME is the first to go, then Budget Desktop, and then we'll have to reboot. Voila, Budgie Desktop has been installed and we have already uh, told to GDM, to our display manager, to kick in when we reboot. And we're gonna do just what it says here, type sudo reboot. Now there's a little small inconvenience, as long as you know it, it's no inconvenience. But when we get the GDM, and maybe the best thing to do for me now is scale factor. So I've scaled everything down for the tutorial. So I've gone back to the normal scale. And you should remember to first choose this here. So the little icon next to sign in, choose budgie desktop. Otherwise you'll end up in GNOME. And that's not what we wanted to test. And there we are. So we are now looking at Arch Budgie on Linux Mint 18.1 Cinema. Okay, let's go to our files and stick it on top here, pin to panel, that we have it all the time. This is the thing we have downloaded. What did we install? Uh, this one, no, not this one, this one, this one. And now we're only, oh, still a lot of them. You know, right mouse click, open in terminal. Let's put this here. Let's put the other one there. And then we go ahead with the rest of them. As you can see, I'll do it properly. Properly, voila, it's still QWERTY. So I go to here, to here, of course, settings. And I tell the system, look, I have a system that's different from everybody else i have a belgian azerty keyboard done is it fixed azerty fine so i'm going ahead with the number 100 installing the core as you can see the software is so programmed the the, the bash, bash file so created that if it's already installed due to the GNOME or anything else, it will be skipped, so to save time. Firefox is being installed, Evolution. Some of those, I will probably never use them. But that's all for the Sardi icons and the Surfen icons to check if everything is in order. Inkscape is the one I'm using to make all these Sardi icons. That's been installed. Plank is installed, which looks nice. You can put it on the bottom and leave the panel on top.
PLC is being installed, and there we are. I saw nowhere, so continuing with the extra software. What's that? The it's a small script that picks out a few of these scripts under here. So you can install core bird, but it's not going to be installed. You can install call retro retro term, that's not gonna be installed. So I just picked out a few of them I like. Dropbox in um, in sync, uh, in, in sync. I think it's the name. Let's check me. Let's check it here. What? How is it called? Actions required. I think it's in sync. Well, and in sync. That's correct. And then uh, what else? Spotify. Um, stuff like that. I think Sublime Text is one of them as well. Down here with the S. Let's see if we can edit already something. If we have an application to edit something. We can install writers already. Let's do that instead. So you don't see a text editor yet. So variety is going to take care for the wallpapers. Continue. Don't do that. No thanks. And then change the wallpaper and start up. It's fine. And then the color at least 80%. Stop it. Scroll on the element here. And so we have another wallpaper. So that's set. In the meantime, Dropbox is going on. Good. InSync is being installed. Let's check if there are other stuff we can install in the meantime. So these catfish is very interesting to find some uh, color, for instance, inside of a file. It will figure it out. Redshift is interesting. Gpic, nothing else I can do. I have to wait for the installations to continue. As in player, VLC, desktop. Tweak tool is something we can already take a look at, but we don't have any themes yet. We can make it dark already. And for the rest, we have to wait for the icons and the themes. I wait for the installation of InSync. Let's pause the movie. Okay, 200 has uh, finished. So I'm moving on to 300. Enter. This one is going to install the Conkeys, Conky Aureola. So the extra is the one that is experimented on scripting based on the Sardi. This is the actual Sardi that's being installed. And then last but not least, maybe Surfing Icons, which is more colorful, not so strict as Sardi. And Arc GTK theme. And the cursor, the snow cursor I like so much. So that's installed. So number 400 is now up. And those are the software distro that are specific. In this case, it's just the Noto font I like to see. 500 is Samba. So SMB, don't need it really it's to share things over the net. So I'm gonna skip this one. 600s are my only personal settings. So you don't need to run these. These will make uh, all kinds of uh, folders you can see here on the right. These folders have been added. That's the way I like to, how I like to work. So my, my, my work environment, my workspace is now defined. Some scripts from GIMP and I like to save it as GPG instead of PNG when I make a screenshot. And the art color themes I've made so far for ArchBudgie. Those things have been uh, taken care of. So um, we are at number 600. If we go check up here, 600, there you have also number uh, 700. The thing is, you can only run the 700 when you have, you did, you did run Firefox once. Since when you start Firefox, you'll make a specific folder somewhere in your system. And we need to have a folder to write uh, 
the, the scripts will, will copy paste the folder inside so that when you go to an arc and a dark theme and for instance an arc dark theme then uh, YouTube for instance ha will have input boxes and you can't read it anymore but when you put in when you run this little script here then it will make a uh, theme and CSS file will be copied over and problem is solved so that's why we need to run Firefox first and then we'll find a folder now the fun can start so everything has been installed variety is changing the wallpaper and uh, let's go ahead and change with the tweak tool and pin that as well let's change to something more dramatic arc dark red why not why not an arc dark red with an uh, something else the last one i've created was this one i think the vampire and let's take the breeze no and that's it what do we have now we have now this kind of look with the scrolling of the mouse you can make it a bit smaller and bigger so this is our look and that's that and the icons are looking like this and context needs to be fixed fixed that's some manual work we have to do so you that's why of all these uh, folders you go to applications and this one is wrong right mouse click open with other application view it do it with sublime text best advice ever do it with sublime text and uh, double click it a bit zooming in so you can see what i'm doing scroll down or control find and this icon here uh, just get rid of um, x office i don't know if, if this will be the solution we'll soon find it out if that's the case and otherwise i can explain you something more so it's not the correct name um it's and th the effect is the problem is that this icon is referring to a mime actually like docx is a mime a kind of file extension so we'll have to point it to somewhere else and let's go together and find out what's the name of the possible name of an app that has something to do with contacts and that's the name I just should have taken contacts and that will be just fine there so an address book that's possibility and an address is also something you can type in no not really so contacts is probably the best choice to point the icon theme uh, this one the icon theme contacts save and in the meantime it's uh, gone I suppose let's take a look at our contacts and our address book and I don't see it anymore let's open it this way applications and somewhere here something has changed address book uh, contacts 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 here it is contacts so everything for the rest looks okay so that's an, a good savvy test always for me to check after installation the icons are still fine um i really think i'm um, well i can't i can tell you a lot more but um I think we can conclude this tutorial maybe some last tips which are things that are difficult to find or hard to find when you go in here in here in here and in here <laughs> you can tell that the menu is changed and that you are on arch budgie voilà. that's some you can do and then you have this little name here nice to have around if you want it if you like it but it's quite uh, it's hidden and now you know where all right have fun